The sign might say, women at work. Dozens of female volunteers certainly had their hard hats on as they built a home for Sea Island's Habitat for Humanity. ABC News 4's Sonia Stevens takes us there. Women from different states and different parts of the low country have come together this week to accomplish one goal, build a house for a local family. I really um, just wanted to be able to do something to give back and this seemed like a great organization and I thought it would be a good bonding experience with, with other people from a different area. And it's an experience that the women will always remember. For me personally to see the house from just the cinder block and then watch the walls go up because I hadn't been in a project like that before is incredibly emotional. If you think that women aren't strong enough to build a house, then obviously you've forgotten about strength in numbers. And this week, it's all about teamwork. It's important to learn teamwork and teamwork strategies and skill where one man might try and hang a full piece of plywood himself and maybe hurt himself. Women tend to get together and use teamwork as strength. And it results in a better finished product, um, and it's a lot safer as well. And with all their hard work came plenty of sweat. <laughs> we sweat a lot. But the ladies agree that it was fun and rewarding. I feel so rewarded. Um, today's our last day, so I'm, I, today is like so special. Um, I don't want it to end. The event will wrap up tomorrow, but many agree that we'll be coming back next year. Sonia Stevens, ABC News 4. And in case you're wondering, that house will be finished in July. The owner is a single mother who recently graduated from Trident Tech with an associate's degree in criminal justice, and this will be her very first time owning a home. Well, tonight, the